Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Sport Federation TV where we talk about sport in the Western Cape and of course in the last couple, well at least last week Saturday, it was the Cape Town Sports Council Sport Awards and of course uh, a number of athletes and administrators and federations got their accolades and tonight we're going to chat to some of the folks that managed to walk away with some of the big prizes. She's no stranger to Sport Federation TV, but she's back, and she was this year crowned as the Cape Town Sports Woman of the Year, Tasneem Solomons. Tasneem, nice to have you back. Thank you for having me. So, you, yeah, uh, you reminded me now that you've been here before, uh, also for, for Q Sports. Yes, about eight years ago. About eight years ago, uh, and at that stage, you were, but you were talking apparently black. That was Black Ball, yeah. Black Ball. The Black Ball Worlds, yes. Firstly, congratulations on your award, Sportswoman of the Year. I mean, that's an incredible, incredible achievement. How are you feeling? Amazing. Yeah? And, you know, all praises to the Almighty. And um, at first, on Saturday, I didn't know. I was sitting there, I was telling my partner, I was looking at the awards. I was like, you know, I'm counting. Okay, there's only two left. I was like, but no, I don't think I'm going to get anything. <laughs> You and mean from the nominations yes, and all the from different the, awards? Because yeah. it was quite a lot of awards on the night. Yes, it was. Yeah. And then it, uh, it, yeah, it was amazing when I was nominated. I didn't even know I was going to win. You yeah. Know? And I don't know if you saw while I was there on the stage, I was dumbstruck. I didn't expect that, you know. Yeah. And yeah. But yeah, it was amazing feeling and... Even the event, it was my first time attending, and yo, know, it was like phenomenal. It was wow. I, I went home and I was like phoning everybody, telling them how amazing the event was, and yeah. Why? Why would it be for you? Um, I mean, you're you're a world champion. I mean, let's just talk about your record in the last. You've been playing uh, Q sports for for a long time now, um, but the last six months, the last year has been some phenomenal records for you 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 went to black ball uh black pool black pool, black yes. pool in england to play eight ball we always have a bit of pool in the black pool <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's a little bit of homework that you have to help us out here but you went to black pool recently and you won the world championships the eight ball world championship i mean that's an incredible achievement yes it is and even the run that i had in the draw in the singles I had to beat four multiple world champions to become the world champion. And even in the finals, it was best out of 15 frames. So the first one to eight wins. Yeah. And it came down to a deciding frame. And Kirsty Lee Davis from Wales, phenomenal player. And then she missed. She actually made a foul. And then I had ball in hand. So now you must remember, I only have one shot. I've got eight balls to become the world champion. And then each shot I was like, you know, Tasneem, just make sure of the pot. And when I, I think it was on the black, and I had a fift, uh, 15 seconds extension, and I used it, and I'm like, I'm gonna take my time on this shot. This is for the world title. And then I went down, I was confident, and then the black ball rattled, and then it eventually dropped, yeah. you know, and then, yeah, it was from there, it's, you know, South Africa's on the map. I mean, yeah. being, I've been playing for 20 years and that, that was my goal. Right, folks, well, here we go. This is, of course, Tasneem's uh, certificate, amazing certificate there. Uh, Sportswoman of the Year. Um, uh, Tasneem, let's have a look at your, your trophy. Now, w what trophy is that? What are we looking at? We're looking at the World Champion. That's the World Championship yes. trophy. That's amazing. So uh, let's quickly talk about what comes next for you now, because from after the black ball, the eight ball uh, in, in Blackpool, you had the world champs, and then you had the black ball nationals, right? So you're bouncing between the two codes here, eight ball and black ball. Yes. Yeah, how difficult is that? I mean, or does that come naturally? Does it not make a difference? It doesn't really make a difference, just the rules. Okay, just the rules. Just yeah. the rules, yes. Yeah. So similar technique. Now your next event now is you leave on the 28th of this month. That's next week. Yes. You go to Malta to compete in the Black Ball World Championships again. Now, this is not the eight ball world champs, this is now the Black Ball World This is the Black Ball, yes. Tell us a little bit about that. What are you expecting? Is it the same competitors? Is it the same countries? Same compet. I think it's gonna be a bit difficult. Yeah. 19 confirmed countries so far. Yeah. And um, yeah, so we're playing same team events, doubles and singles. 
How many of you guys get to go as a team from South Africa? How many teammates have you got with you? I've got four teammates with, with me, and then it's five. Four teammates. What about the practicing? Do you guys ever get the chance to, to practice together? No, Never? not at all. Yeah? I've got teammates, one in KZN, two in Joburg, and then it's me, myself and Shasha in Cape Town. Yeah. But we don't get to bond before we go. You don't? We meet up on the other side. You don't WhatsApp each other? Yes, we do. You video call, and but yeah. you need to train on your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So have you got people locally that are around you? Or is training solo in Q Sport, or, or is there a, a team factor involved? Uh, do you have coaches, people who work with you? No, I train myself. You train with yourself? Yeah. So how do you know, how do you train yourself? I mean, isn't that quite challenging? No, it like drills. It's too, drills? Yes. So it's very, very repetitive? Yeah. So what do you personally feel it, is it that makes you better? I think the discipline that I have and the focus, because the moment I go on the table, I zone out, so I don't hear anyone. Yeah. I'm in Tasneem's world, yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've been playing pool for a long time then. Um, when you are, uh, how, do you, how do you decide, for example, on the drills that you need to do? I mean, do you, do you get any international exposure, do you, or do you just figuring it out with yourself? I feel like on a Sunday, I play leaf, so then okay. I go back on a Monday, rack the balls and then I'm like, okay, Tasneem, this is what you did wrong. So then I focus on that. And then after that, is, then it's just drills. Yeah. So there is videos where I go back and say, okay, this is where I made a mistake. So I need to work on that. Yeah. yeah. So f f for kids that are moms or dads or kids that are watching now, you're obviously an, a big inspiration. You've just shown what, what, can, what one can achieve. What, what is your message for folks that are watching you now and and thinking, how do I do what you do? Like, for the youth out there, you know, and um, before I get to that, it's, you know, one day I, I want to open up my own pool academy in Bonteville where I started, you know, give back to the youth. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm a role model to them and it can also be the escape from the streets. Yeah. So that is my goal as well. And to the youth out there, if you want to play pool, you need to be disciplined. Number one, you need to be, be disciplined. And you need to be focused and hard work and determination pays off. Yeah. Yeah. What does that mean, like in a, in a typical week? Does that mean you've got you to arrive you gotta on time? You've got to train. You can't just go on a Sunday and expect you need to win. Yeah. So you need to train every day. You need to put in the work to get the results. And if, and if somebody wants to join now a Q sports structure where what would they do do the, would they go onto your facebook page or do they find a club nearby they can go onto my facebook page that's name solomons you're at lekker j yes you're <laughs> lekker j, j yeah no? <laughs> yes <laughs> and are there quite a lot of uh, pool clubs out there for people to join yeah lekker yeah. j has got nine teams nine teams yeah okay and that is uh, with juniors in eh? belleville south in belleville south in belleville south but there's clubs uh, pool clubs all around the province. Yes. Yeah. So there's Western Province, there's Ikapa, there's I play for Western Cape. So all over the east. Yeah, yeah. We'll leave it at that. Good luck for Malta. Thank I'm you sure so much. they're all worried about you that they're going to come up against the world champions. You think they're googling you and going? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Got the target on my back now. Yes. Yeah, listen, congratulations, amazing achievement, sports woman of the year. You of course now go to the provincial. Um, awards as a, as a nominee and then possibly on to the South African Sports Awards. So, yeah, good luck for, for the way forward and, and good luck for, for Malta. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. There we go, folks. Tasneem Solomons, um, Sportswoman of the Year, World um, Eight Ball Champion, on her way to Malta for the Black Ball World Championships. And wow, we're so proud. And uh, what a role model. Find out more about Q Sports. Go to her Facebook page. Otherwise, Google or uh, go to Facebook and look for a pool club near you. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll carry on talking about sport in the province. Back in a sec.